today I've been reading uh, Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis again, and what I came across was an idea towards the end that I really resonated with me when he was discussing the idea of uh, God being outside of time. Now, let's see. Here we go. I'm just going to read off a couple chapters here. Do, 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 do. All right. Another difficulty we get if we believe God to be in time is this. Everyone who believes in God at all believes that he knows what you and I are going to do tomorrow. But if he knows I am going to do so and so, how can I be free to do otherwise? Well, here once again, the difficulty comes from thinking that God is progressing along the timeline like we are. The only difference being that he can see ahead and we cannot. Well, if that were true, if God foresaw our acts, it would be very hard to understand how we could be free not to do them. But suppose God is outside and above the timeline. In that case, what we call tomorrow is visible to him in just the same way as what we call today. All the days are now for him. He does not remember you doing things yesterday, he simply sees you doing them. Because though we have lost yesterday, he has not. He does not foresee you doing things tomorrow. He simply sees you doing them. Because though tomorrow is not yet there for you, it is for him. You never suppose that your actions at this moment were any less free because God knows what you are doing. Well, he knows your tomorrow's actions in just the same way, because he is already in tomorrow and can simply watch you. In a sense, he does not know your action till you have done it. But then the moment at which you have done it is already now for him. This idea helped me a good deal, as apparently it also did C.S. Lewis. If it doesn't help you, and I'm also continuing from what he was saying, if it does not help you, leave it alone. It is a Christian idea in the sense that great and wise Christians have held it, and there is nothing in it contrary to Christianity. But it is not in the Bible or any of the creeds. You can be a perfectly good Christian without accepting it, or indeed without thinking of the matter at all. Now, adding that little caveat on there, this one does remarkably well help me, because... Sometimes it has been semi-difficult, and admittedly, I mean, to quote my pastor here, the mind is very good at manufacturing doubts, and I occasionally, when confronted with the whole, what's it called, if God can see the future, then why, you know, then how do you have free will kind of thing, occasionally that would actually stop me up for a minute, and I would have to think about it, and I wasn't really sure the best way to answer those people. But this is actually, this resonates very well. I, it, comes to, it comes together better this way for me, I, I guess I should say. That, because he's right, you know, when I'm living through my days, and I think about, yes, the future is going to be what the future is going to be, and God knows it, that is one thing. But the fact that I never think, hey, because God is watching now, my actions are not my own, I'm still able to make choices now, and that is how I perceive the world. And so that is... And I'm, I'm kind of over-explaining, which I've realized that I do sometimes, so I'm just going to leave it at that and just say, Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis, very interesting book, worth a good read if you're interested in it. Um... Please have a blessed day, and I'll see you when I make the next video.